Hey everyone, this is Joe with Joe's Gaming Lounge, and we're gonna get right into it. We are at the XEMU app website. We're gonna go ahead and download for Linux. Here are instructions for downloading it on Linux. So we have a few options here. If you want to use the Ubuntu repository, here we have a PPA that can be added to your repository. However, we're going to make this a universal installation. Many distributions out there use Flatpak, especially the uh, Steam Deck. And so we're going to go ahead and set this up the Flatpak way. Now, if your computer does not have Flatpak set up, there is a setup right here at flatpak.org. It'll show you how to set it up for your particular distribution. As you can see, it covers many distributions and their variants. So we'll close that, but our system here has Flatpak enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my discovery since we're using KDE. And we're gonna go ahead and search XEMU. And we'll just click on install. Now, while that's working, we're gonna head back to XEMU and we're gonna need to download a file under the required file section. So you're gonna need one of these three files here. Two of these, I can't show you unfortunately how to get them. These are BIOS images. You just have to just type the name as you see them into Google and you will easily find these. However, the hard disk image, this is one that you can get directly from here. So once you click on that, you can download a pre-formatted Xbox hard disk image. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to our downloads. Now that XEMU is downloaded and installed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the program. Once we run the program, it's gonna create files in the directory that we need. So now that we're at the setup menu, we're gonna need those three files, two BIOS files plus the hard disk file. We're gonna go into our settings. And before we do anything, we actually do need to put the hard disk file in a particular place. If we go back into the discover, you'll notice that it says only the home can be written to, by XEMU. The hard disk image has to be placed here. So we're gonna place the hard disk image that we downloaded in that directory. I'm gonna open up downloads. I'm gonna cut this with me. I'm gonna hit back. VAR app XEMU data XEMU XEMU. And we're gonna have to place it in here. We'll right click and extract it here. and we'll delete the archive. So we have the file here. Let's minimize. Open up XEMU. Locate the hard disk. We'll go home. We'll right click to show hidden files. And follow the same path. VAR app XEMU data and here's our file note that we'll have to restart after we add these so now once you've set up your paths close this close the application and we'll launch it again and it's asking us for a game disc. Now, XEMU, as you know, uses X ISOs, so you can't use just a basic Xbox ISO. You'll have to rip the game and convert it into an X ISO. Now, there's many ways to do that on the Windows side, but I have discovered one side that works on Linux. Okay, so what we have here is extract XISO with a Linux binary. 
so this one is executable on Linux. I wrote here a simple commands line on how to use extract X ISO on Linux. You want to execute the program with the dot slash command and you want to point it to the folder that you're going to be using along with the game's ISO. Now, what's important is that the game's name cannot have spaces in it. For example, this is Jet Set Radio Future and I decided to just give it the acronym JSRF just because it cannot have spaces. That is the most important thing you need to know about using this. So this was already converted into a .xbe from an ISO. What we need to do here is convert it from an XBE to an X ISO. And we're gonna use this command down here to do so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna execute extract X ISO. It's gonna convert it and we'll let it know what folder and by folder I actually mean directory. We're in the documents directory because this game itself is in a folder. We're gonna tell it what directory we want and then it's gonna have the name as an ISO. How do we do this? I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna open the terminal. We're gonna run this command. We're gonna run extract X ISO. It's gonna compress into documents, jet set radio future here. And it's gonna give us an output into documents, jet set radio future ISO. So we just hit enter. And now we successfully created our Jet Set Radio Future X ISO. We can close this. And now we'll rename this, have this listed in the video description. Now back in X Emu, we'll go to Machine, Load Disk. We'll find our Documents folder. Now, a lot of the times the game will not load like this right away. If it does, enjoy it however we're gonna have to either reset which this works most of the time and here it is sometimes you actually may have to shut down the program and run it with the disk loading but here we have it booting up jet set radio future as a bonus tip what we can do here is uh you go to the view tab and you go to internal resolution scale 2x typically cleans up the look of the games, of most games. 3x if your system can run it, 2x really just cleans up the look. We'll go back to 1x so you can see. Looks very pixelated on the edges. 2x clears that up. You can full screen. If you want to set up your controllers, just go to input. Make sure that your controller is connected. It'll show up here. And my final tip, if you want to see the uh, frame rate, you go to debug. You go to video. And there it is on the top left. I like to crunch this down and you see your performance here. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. If you want to come back for more tutorials such as this one, please subscribe. I want to thank everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.